Good morning everyone. Okay, so today's video is about the floor. Now I have already started. I did spend a morning or most of the day starting the floor. I just fancied a bit of time without the camera. I'll show you what I've done so far. So I've started battened. <clears throat> I started battening out the floor. But I ran out of wood so I didn't get to the end and I still need to do a couple of quite a few a few more noggins widthways to support. What is the date today? Today is the 21st of December, Monday 21st of December, so not much going to be happening around the Christmas period, but I did do some work yesterday and I'll show you what I did and I didn't film anything because I just just fancied a, a bit without the camera and just crack on, but I'll show you what I did. been working on the floor. So this is the framework that I've been working on for the floor. I very quickly ran out of wood, so I didn't finish it to the back of the van. And I got a few more cross noggins to put in. Ugh. Yeah, a few more cross noggins to put in, especially on the step and the main walkway. So yeah, the step will be, you'll be coming in here and the main walkway will be here so especially going to have a few more cross noggins in there before filling all the voids with insulation now over here and over here you may see i got this this wood here from b and cubes like two pounds something of a stretch this is the start of the bed frame now i've got one two three four five six seven Screws, two, four, six, seven screws, massive thick screws into this huge metal side rail. Now, there is no, not actually going to be any weight. This is the bed over here, but this is, there's not actually going to be any weight on that wood because the, the timber that's going to go across the van is going to go, actually sit on the metal behind it. So all the weight is going to be on the metal. The wood is there to screw to screw that wood that cross wood into something so yeah I thought that was okay that's definitely gonna be strong enough I've sat on these things and they're not going anywhere you know but like I say there's no weight gonna be on them in my van I did put a couple of bolts in there you can put a couple of M8 or M10 bolts through the wood into the metal but as I mentioned there's gonna be no weight on there so all on the metal so that's what I did yesterday. Okay, so the floor is nearly finished. Becca's just finishing it off. What's the matter? I've got a problem. Shall, I, line is here. shall I move <laughs> shall I move the house? So I want to do a floating floor in this van. It's the same thing I did in my other van. I don't screw or glue the battens down. Once the pliers, the insulation is on, the pliers on, all the weights on, it doesn't move at all that floor. I'd rather do that than screw holes into the floor of the van. Uh, but yeah, we're just about to start insulating now. Becca's, Becca's measuring and writing down the measurements for the insulation. <laughs> you drew it. That's the difference between a woman and a man. <laughs> How organised. Going back and forth, and just measure it all and then you cut it all. <laughs> Good 
Look at that. The floor's already warmer. What a difference having this flooring makes. So today's job is that, that, and that. Now this is all going to be underneath the bed, but I'm going to be putting ply on the sides and boxing in the wheel arches. need to do a curve on this ply because I'm going to be boxing this wheel arch in with a big square box anyway but, but I'm going to try and do the curve anyway so I've made a cardboard template so I can get the curve of that wheel arch it doesn't have to be spot on I don't imagine it will be spot on but we'll give it a go
Now, I don't have another sheet of ply or enough ply to do the opposite side. At this stage, if I did, I would use this as a template for another bit of ply for the other side. But I will just keep my cardboard template for the curve and it should be fairly easy once I've done this one. engineered this wheel arch boxing. <laughs> it's bloody sturdy though. A lot of pocket hole jigs everywhere. I do like pocket hole jigs. this episode here what did we do we did the floor and we did all this wheel arch boxing I'm very happy how that's all turned out most of that's gonna be hidden hidden under the bed um, it's gonna be just under bed storage slash garage all the electrics are gonna be over this side and maybe a water tank over this side yeah there we go yeah I'm gonna leave this episode here I hope you enjoyed it give me that thumbs up button if you did make sure you subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in next week's video all right bye bye